in year nine, we're going to actually be running a STEM project called Ali Challenge. And you're going to be involved today in coming up with innovative ideas, products using aluminium and other sustainable materials. What we found interesting about the Aluminium Challenge was that it was another opportunity for us to actually get involved in a STEM project, where the pupils are working in groups. The actual setup, the information that was provided, was nice, clear, concise, and, and gave them a starting point. We gave them complete choice as to which ones they did. We chose the Aluminium Challenge as the actual STEM project for Year 9. So then uh, 90 pupils got involved that first day and everybody actually sort of came up with ideas and had great fun involved in that. And I think we had about 15 pupils then that were involved in developing the project on. During the day when we actually launched it with the whole year group, what we did was actually give them a sort of set time where they could go off and do internet research. So they were involved in that and then they were also sort of working as a team, coming up with ideas, throwing ideas together, brainstorming what they were going to actually do. And then the teams then that developed their work on for the competition had time to actually go off and do some research and, and make sure that they covered all the points as well. What advantages for this specific car then did you think that aluminium gave you over steel? It was lighter, easier to make, and it's recyclable. Okay. Right. So you could eventually recycle this car and then use life and make another one. When we were designing the product, we were thinking about not just the shell of the building that has to be like recyclable, but also the flooring and all the other materials, like for the door. We wanted to show that it was environmentally friendly and sustainable. So the leaf actually is V-shaped, collecting water, which is distributed into for example, if you've got a small vegetable patch, you could distribute water into there. It certainly raised their awareness in sustainable issues. They learnt an awful lot about aluminium and how it actually fits into global sustainable issues that we're all having to consider at the moment. This was a particular way for them to learn about aluminium and its uses, so I think they'll tell you that they learnt an awful lot. We use aluminium for the roof because we realise that it can be bent in different shapes since it doesn't rust. Our purpose was so the water can flow down the leaf. We used all our skills together to help create this. What was it like to have a winner? Well, it was, it was brilliant, it was crazy to actually think we'd entered two of the categories and we had first prizes in both the group's entries and a runner-up in the garden building competition. So once you've actually sort of won, how would you follow that, as it were? But, um, We'll give it our best, we'll have a go, and I think it's not just about the winning, it's just the pupils get an awful lot out of it, regardless of whether they win the competition or not. You know, it's a, it's a fabulous opportunity for them to actually work, engage in a different situation to being in a traditional classroom. Compete at a national level and, and have that success, it, it just gives them the confidence and the self-esteem to think, yes, we can do this, so it's set in there now that the aluminium challenge will be in the autumn term. Whereas you perhaps think of these science and engineering things more to be male related, we found that we've got a nice combination of girls and boys and they both bring something to the mix. There's such a shortage of a sort of you know, engineers and then sort of SEM sort of career paths that really trying to engage with them at the earliest possible opportunity. We found with all the things that we've done, if we brought somebody in from industry to work with us and give that extra insight, and it's great for the people to listen to somebody else for a change and get a different perspective on it, so we definitely sort of started the project off. I didn't know anything about aluminium, but now like I've learned quite a lot, like how it can be <coughs> reused and it can be like bent into different shapes. I found it like really fascinating then Aluminium Challenge is one of the things that we're proud to have been involved in.